This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games, and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. All right, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. We're backstage. Our players are warming up for today's big match, and today, one of them is going to have a chance to win his very own video arcade game. Players, you ready? All right, let's go play Starcade. Nice studio audience and you at home, welcome. Nice to see you all. We have two great contestants here today, a good show planned for you. So let's meet our contestants right now. And your name is? Steve. Just, you have two names? Steve Basolo. Okay, Steve, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I like to fish and I'm a pilot. I like to fly and have my own plane. What kind of an airplane? It's a Champion Cetabria, fully aerobatic, uh, high wing, single engine, two passenger. And Gosh, I got about 600 hours in a Cessna 210. I'll trade you uh, one video game for your air... Well, we'll talk a little <laughs> later. Okay, Steve, good luck to you. Your name? Peter Farrago. Hey, Peter, say your last name a little more slowly so everybody knows what it is. Farrago. Farrago, okay. I think that's one of the video games, Farrago, that we, that we play, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Have you heard that joke before? No. Oh, all right. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself, Peter. Well, I go to Bret Hart Middle School, and I'm going into the eighth grade. I like uh, sports, mainly baseball and soccer. All right. This should be a good game. You two will square off against each other. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. It is Buck Rogers today. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, shake hands, Steve and Peter, and go get ready to play. And while they get ready to play, we'll ask Kevin to tell us about our five games. You know that outer space is a common theme in video games, but we've got an uncommon show today, Jeff, with five very imaginative games that have nothing to do with space. First, Popeye, the man himself fighting for his sweetie. Next is Bump and Jump, a bumpy, jumpy car race. Super Pac-Man, the great one turns super size. Donkey Kong Jr., the sun strikes out to free Papa. And Tasmania, a devilishly clever little game. Jeff? Thank you, Kevin. Now, Steve and Peter, those are today's five games. Both of you had a chance, of course, to play them before today's show. One of them is a mystery game. Pick it in the first three games, and you're going to win a valuable prize automatically. Now, we're going to let the home audience know what the mystery game is, so Kevin will whisper that to them. The mystery game is Popeye. Okay, and we'll get ready to play. Now I'm going to ask you a question. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly. You pick the first game. In Congo Bongo, what does the gorilla do to make the hunter pursue him? Hey, Peter? Uh, lights him on fire. Uh, will the judges take that? Yes, okay. Sets his tent on fire. It's okay with me if you buzz in early, but I'll let you know we do have two choices. It was A, throw boulders down on him, or B, set his tent on fire. You were right, so Peter, you take a pick, and which game do you want to play? Um, I think I'll try Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Jr., okay, we have the perfect person to tell us about that. Jeff, you gotta stop monkeying around like that. Mario beware of Donkey Kong Jr. He's crafty, he's fearless, and out to rescue Papa Kong from your clutches, scoring points as he climbs, avoiding the brigade of snapping jaws, ape-eating birds, and energy pods. Watch out, Mario. The son of Donkey Kong is out to rescue Papa. Okay, Peter, uh, what attracted you to Donkey Kong Jr.? Why'd you pick that? Well, I played a lot, and I, I think I can get a really good score on it, so I figured I'd try to get a... Uh, head start. All right, uh, our technician, Jim Armantrout, was uh, showing me some tricks on this thing. He hit 55,000 points and never lost uh, a monkey. Can you imagine that? Well, my high score is 78,000. Uh -huh. I hope you're listening, Jim. Okay, you must know all the tricks then. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Enough to wait. Yes, he knows what he's doing. Take the jump. He'll get that one too. Good. There's the 800 points. Good jump. All right. Going the right way. 2,500. Look out. Oh, no.
No time to waste now. Ten seconds, doing great. Look out. Got that good shot. Can you get to the top? Five thousand points. All right, that's really well played, Peter. Nice going. You head on back. Here comes Steve. Well, well, Steve, he picked Donkey Kong Jr. How are you at this game? Well, I don't think I'm too good at it, but I'll sure give it a try. If he hadn't dropped in the drink there, I think you would have been in real trouble. But <laughs> as it is, you got a shot at it, so let's see what happens. Fifty seconds to play. Get ready. Get set. Play. And we're off. Good. Look out. Oh, whoa, no, he got you. Too bad. You're going to have to go now. We've got about 35 seconds. 30 seconds. Go. God, no, you didn't get him. Too bad. Look out. Look out. Oh, no. You got to Oh, no. What is <laughs> 15 seconds to go, Steve. <laughs> That'll give you a couple of points. Look out. <laughs> oh. I don't think you're going to have time to get any more. No, you're out of business. All right, Steve. Well, I'm glad you got a good sense of humor. Anyway. Yeah, that's good. All right, 2,000 points. We'll take a break. We'll be back in a minute to see who gets to choose the next game here on Starcade. Stay with us. Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, a small Grand Lux hotel in the European tradition, one block from Union Square in San Francisco. The Starcade audience travels by way of Trailways bus lines. No bus, plane, or train gets you there cheaper than Trailways. Go Big Red, go Trailways. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game Buck Rogers, and you'll be on a race through space in the 25th century, fighting your way through heavily armed channels, through formidable smasher tunnels, and around the towering spires of a cosmic city. It's Buck Rogers, furnished by Sega Electronics. And now back to Starcade, here's Jeff Edwards. All right, Kevin, thank you. Well, Steve and Peter, I know you both like to have Buck Rogers. I can see Steve playing that in his airplane while he's flying along. Let's check the score and see where we are after our first game. Steve, you have 2,000 points. <laughs> Peter, you have 5,000 points. Well, Peter, you're in the lead right now, but there's still another game to be played in this round. As you know, total points scored on both games will determine who gets to play the name of the game board. And Steve, I suppose you'd like to answer this question so Peter doesn't pick another game that's going to mess you up there. Here we go. What color is the player's race car in the game pole position? Hey, Peter. White. No, sorry, the two choices were yellow and red, and it's B, red. So, Steve, without doing anything, <laughs> you got a chance to pick the game. What game would you like to play? Jeff, I'd like to play Tasmania. Tasmania, okay, Tasmania it is. Kevin, tell us about Tasmania. You're just a little Tasmanian devil, zapping everything in sight so you can have the game all to yourself. But as time runs out, the walls close in, and defeat could be a crushing experience. But while you can, zap and run. And if an escape exit comes, take it for even bigger rewards. You're a little devil, but your mama thinks you're cute. <laughs> okay, Kev. Now, you pick Tasmania. Why Tasmania? Well, I just tend to be fond of this one. All know. right. Well, you probably know it pretty well, but I'll give you a couple hints, and you might want to listen too, Peter. Uh, it's a little different playing it here than in the arcade. You have 50 seconds here, that's all. So use your zapper button. That'll hold those walls back and get rid of some of those evil people a couple times. If you get to the second screen, stay out of the middle, because that's where those eyeballs come heading for, okay? Okay. All right, good luck, Steve. You need some points here. 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, no, you got squashed. 20 seconds left, though. Here we go. 
Get out if you can. Get out. Woo. All right. Ten seconds to go. One thousand three hundred. Little trouble with the walls closing in on you, but then I have the same feeling when I go home. Okay, Steve. <laughs> head on back. Here comes Peter. Oh, Peter, you are an ace at Donkey Kong Jr. How are you, Tasmania? Um, well, I've only played a couple times, but I think I can do better than he did. Or at least I'll try. Yeah, I like your confidence. That's good to have here on Starcade. You heard the hints I gave to him? Uh, yeah, he said to use your zapper a lot. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll get rid of some of those enemies for you and stay out of the middle on the second screen, okay? Here we go. 50 seconds. You ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Shot. Peter's getting some movement in there. That's his zapper button. One more to go. Yeah, that's it. You zapped him good. Now, can you get out? Sure you can. 30 seconds to go. Here come the evil eyeballs. That's the way to move out of the center. Good play. 15 seconds. Balls are closing in. 1,530. Okay, Peter, head on back there. Nice play. Now we'll total up the scores. Both of you had a chance to play Donkey Kong Jr. and Tasmania. And now one of you is going to play for a very special prize. So what we're going to do is total up the scores from both games. And the high score is going to get to play the Name the Game board. So, Steve, you have a total of 3,300. And, Peter, it looks like you have 6,530. That means you'll come right down here, sir. You're going to play the Name the Game board, and if you play this as well as you play the games, you're going to do pretty well and go home with a good prize. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win something neat, okay? All right. All right, turn around. All right, Peter, the upper left-hand screen. Is that Lock and Chase or Maze Race? Uh, lock and Chase. Right you are. There's one. And number two, is that Zap and Robots or Robotron? Robotron. Robotron is right. Looking for number three, Swimmer or Running River? Swimmer. Swimmer's right. One more to go. Is that Zappo or Wacko? Wacko. Wacko is right. <laughs> Boy, you're doing terrific there, Peter. Kevin, what do you have for Peter? It's a white metal detector featuring ground exclusion balance to help you locate coins, jewelry, and precious metals while excluding mineralized soil. A metal detector from White's Electronics. Okay, we're going to take a break, Peter. We'll be back in a few moments to play the final round of Starcade and see whether it's going to be Steve or Peter who will have a chance to win their own video arcade game. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. Now all you Starcaders can call on the RB5X to clean up your room while you're out zapping in the arcades. The RB5X is a walking computer. It can feel out the dimensions of your room and then vacuum it while you're out if you want. It talks as well. It'll wake you up in the morning, fetch the paper, and anything else you program into it. It even plugs itself in when it needs more power. The RB5X, an intelligent robot. It can even learn to beat you at your own game. <laughs> and our game is Starcade. Here's Jeff Edwards. Okay, Kevin, thank you very much. Well, Steve and Peter, this is the last time you're going to get a shot at a game. One game left to play. Only 40 seconds to play it now. After that, we're going to total up all the scores and the top score on all games to get a chance to win that Buck Rogers, okay? Yeah. All right. Hey. You ready? Here's your last question. In Mario Brothers, how many times per game can the player use the POW button? A, three times, B, as much as he wants. Steve. As much as he wants. No, sorry, only three times. Only three times. That means Peter has the advantage. You get to pick the last game. We have uh, Super Pac-Man, Bump and Jump, and Popeye over there in the corner, and the mystery game is still yet to be found. Uh, I guess I'll go for Super Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man, okay. The mystery game was Popeye. Popeye. But Super Pac-Man is a heck of a game, and Kevin will tell us how to play it. 
Well, the mild-mannered Pac-Man mildly eats rows of fruit and objects and chomps a few monsters to rack up points. Special keys open gates to more fruit, and the super button control gives him an extra burst of super speed. Chomping a super dot, he changes to Super Pac-Man, ten times his normal size, and able to chomp as he pleases, where he pleases, invincible to the monster's pursuit. Okay, now this that flashing yellow dot, that's the one you want to eat to get to be Super Pac-Man. Yep. Now, I have seen players play this, and they get to be Super Pac-Man, they forget to hit the super speed button, so don't do that, all right? Yeah, I'll remember. All right, Peter, you have 40 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> There he goes. There, Super Pac-Man eating it all. They got him in sight. He's gonna get small. Look out! Oh, they got you. 28 seconds. Going for it. What do you do now? Look out! No, oh, they got. No, you got it. Good. Get that one, can you? Five hundred and twenty, three thousand five hundred twenty. Nicely done. Head back, Peter. Come on, Steve. Well, Steve. Well, Jeff, I think I can do it. Do you? You have some special strategy I don't know about? Well, I don't know, but I've got to make up a couple thousand points, so I'm going to give it a try. Okay, I'd say the same thing that I told him. Uh, when you get to be Super Pac-Man, don't forget to hit, hit the super speed button, and you'll be invincible. Okay. Ready to go. You'll have 40 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> There he goes. There, Super Pac-Man. No for all. Look out. There you go. All right. Get it. Look out. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. No, too late. Ten seconds. You need some points now. See if you can get that energy dot. You got it. Go for points. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Where'd you go? All right. 2,880. Head back, Steve. <laughs> I don't know. Show them about the way you play the game, Steve. I love it. You have a good time no matter what happens, don't you? Yeah, I'm having a wonderful time. Okay, I can see Steve in his airplane heading down towards the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> having a wonderful time. All right, let's check the final score and see who our big winner is today. Steve, you have a total of 6,180. <laughs> Peter has 10,050. Peter's a champ. Okay, champ. Steve, we have some nice gifts for you. I really enjoyed meeting you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, Jeff. good luck in the skies, man. Okay, thank you. Congrats, All right, boys. and Peter, you are our big winner, and do you know what we have for you? Uh, I think it's a Texas Instruments computer. I don't know. I'll have to ask Kevin. Is that it? Let's find out. Wrong, Peter. It's an Aquarius Compact from Mattel Electronics, a complete home computer system with a keyboard, a printer, a data recorder, and a memory expander packed together to perform together from Mattel Electronics. <laughs> We know one thing for sure, though, you have a right now to play for the grand prize, your own video arcade game, and Peter will do that in just a moment. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy, comfort, pistol grip, and trigger action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts, and electronic fun with computers and games. It's the magazine of the computer age. Fun to read, witty, and informative. It's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. Welcome back to Starcade. Okay, Peter, now's a big challenge for you, a chance to win your own arcade game. There's still two games left unplayed, Bump and Jump and Popeye. And during the commercial break, we let you know that if you picked Bump and Jump, you'd have to score at least 1,653 points. If you picked Popeye, you'd have to score at least 5,884 points, and you have to do it in 30 seconds. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who play these same games. And you made your decision. What'd you pick? Uh, pick Popeye. Popeye. That means if you score... 
5,884 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win our grand prize, and it is Buck Rogers today. So, while Kevin tells us about Popeye, we'll go over and we'll get ready to play. Well, blow me down, mates. It's me, Popeye, catching hearts, musical notes, and words of love tossed to me by my sweet olive oil, performing me duty by punching out a few obstacles thrown in me way and giving Bluto a lickin' after I've had me spinach, fighting off the sea hag with me friends Sweet Pea and Wimpy, putting in an appearance too. What a way to spend me day, because I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Skitty up, 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 Oh, my. Now, Peter, uh, you've been really good at the other games. How are you at Popeye? Uh, I think I'm okay. All right. I'm going to give you a couple hints on this game, all right? Because so, I want you to win uh, Buck Rogers. Popeye will start on the left-hand side of the screen. Let him stay there. Bluto will come across. Go through to the other side. Bluto will come to the middle, and he'll turn his head like that. That's when you hit the punching bag, drop the bucket on his head, all right? Pick up some hearts. Then, when Bluto gets a bucket off, he can run over and get the spinach, okay? Go to the middle, drop down the middle, and you get Bluto again, and you win it. Okay, I'll try. You want to repeat that to me? Um. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, wish you good luck. You'll have 30 seconds to get 5,884 points. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> That's it, that's the way to do it. Watch Bluto, he's coming back. Get him. Oh no, you missed that punching bag, I can't believe it. Too bad, you have to go for the spinach now. Got the spinach, good. Drop down in the middle. There you go, all right, now go for points, babe. Let's get some hearts. Oh, 5,060, come on, come on, come on, get that heart. Oh no! Doggone it, it was so close. You just missed that punching bag just by a little bit. Too bad, but Peter, you're a good contestant. It's been nice knowing you, and you have some nice prizes here from Starcade. Hope you had a good time. Yeah, thanks. Great. This is Jeff Edwards on Starcade. See you on the next show. Until then, I hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye bye. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.